coming at you. Here we go. <laughs> they try to make me a star. They yeah. Try to make me famous. Yeah. <laughs> if that's what the goal is, then I, I just want to help people achieve their goals. So. Is that get rid of the bag? They want to. <laughs> No, 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 and I think mm. that that's that's really powerful. That's what you call healing. But I put to take what you've made and make it part of your lived experience. That's one of the most beautiful things that could ever happen to an individual. And I'm glad that I get to be part of that story. Okay. What is your main goal that you want to convey to people when they see your work? Well, th that's a really tough one, but I want people to discover themselves, you know, because my themes center around self-identity, migration, and um, mental health, you know, and I want people to find themselves and be excited about themselves just to belong, you know, Yeah. just to belong. You touch on a lot of your heritage and your work, yes. and do you feel like that is part of that urge to connect people to belongingness? Yes, and um, you can tell a story if you live that story more efficiently. So I'm from Ghana and I'm from Nigeria. So I'm from two different worlds, you know? So I've had both experiences from both cultures and both countries. And sometimes I question myself and say, where do I belong? And right now I'm in the United States of America and it's a different um, space altogether. And trying to find myself and navigate can be really challenging, but it's an, it has been an exciting journey so far. And all I want is other people to find themselves and um, be great. Yeah, that's beautiful. Have you had people help you along that journey, or do you feel like you've sort of been dealing with finding your own footing and your own voice on your own? That's a very good question. Mm -hmm. Yes, that question is multi layered. I've had help from within and without. People have helped me in my journey and um, to help me get to where I am right now. But I think that they can only do thus far. I also have evolved as a human being and I'm still, still looking and searching. And when I find it, I'll let you know. <laughs> All right, I love that. So one other question I have is the healing property of art in your experience. How does art heal? Now, art is therapeutic, you know. You just look at a Claude Monet painting and feel like you've seen like heaven, you know, yeah. for lack of a better word. And um, in my art, I also see the final product as healing, but not just that. The process, you know, was when I make art, I feel my energies, my pain, my struggle. I'm releasing it into something productive and beautiful. And at the end, what comes up out of it, I'm amazed by it. And not only that, other people come to see what I've made and are touched. And I think mm. that that's, that's really powerful. That's what you call healing. But I put to take what you've made and make it part of your lived experience. That's one of the most beautiful things that could ever happen to an individual. And I'm glad that I get to be part of that story. That was beautiful. Thank you. Thank that you was too. really good. Thank yeah. you. <laughs>